Hello everyone, welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today I'm not at uh, Crash Landing, but I'm going to do a different series. It might be very short, or it might be quite a decent series. I'm going to do the Hardcore Challenge. Uh, everyone knows Hardcore Vanilla Minecraft. It's pretty hard if you're uh, just starting or even if you're an experienced player it might be challenging because you have only one life uh, I'm I'm doing one rule in it and I'm going to try three challenges in it uh, the only rule is I cannot sleep uh, through the night I have to uh, fight through the night or stay in indoors and the challenges I'm going to try to do are 1. Defeating the Ender Dragon 2. Defeating the Wither Boss and 3. I'm gonna try to complete every... Uh, what's it called? Achievements there is. Every last one of them I'm gonna to try to do it. And the biggest challenge in there is survive. I have one life only, it's not like in Crash Landing that I can create shells to come back from that ain't gonna happen so yeah let's jump right into it I'm gonna call it one just call it gonna call it hardcore challenge there we go I'm gonna put myself in hardcore oh wait there we go yeah hardcore just uh, just for fun I'm going to do the 666 seat, just for fun. I really like everything that has to do with ghosts and paranormal activity, that's why I'm going to choose the devil's number. So yeah, let's start our new adventure. Uh, I'm going to do one day, one night, so a full Minecraft day cycle, and that would be an episode. Uh, it will be around 20 minutes, not too long, not too short. Just like every video, it can be a little longer, it can be a little shorter. So we'll see. There we go, we have some seeds to start off with. Three seeds, that's enough to get, to get ourselves some bread if we can grow it into wheat. So yeah, hardcore challenge. Uh, we have to actually. It's not really a a relaxing mode. It's more a fast-paced uh, mode. Gonna create some tools. There we go. We need to collect quite a bit of wood. There we go, first achievement. I have to recreate a new uh, new workbench because, uh, because I messed up already. I had to take inventory before I made it the, before I got the wood. But it's not that, that much of a problem. I might even lose the... the Pretty handy. I might even lose the crafting table, so or I might even make more just to 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 play safe. But yeah, let's actually do this. Uh, the only way I'm going to use bits is in the final battle with the uh, with the Ender dragon. But only if I can get some uh, blast protection armor. So I'll have to choose uh, between blast protection and normal protection because uh, both of them override each other. I can't have both of them uh, at once. So yeah. But the bet is actually uh, the end dragon's is the uh, biggest nightmare. Just because it, uh, it just takes chunks of its health. But we'll see that later when we get there. We just started, so we have quite a lot to do. There we go, got some trees. I'm actually gonna make a 
pickaxe. There we go. I'm gonna take you with me. I hope there's a, f a nice. Oh yeah, there should be a nice cave uh, around here. That's pretty far away actually. There should be a nice cave uh, around here because I use this uh, this seat for the dark corners uh, challenge of uh, Bloody Mary. So there should actually be a, an, uh, a cave, even two caves, if I remember correctly. Good. Another few, uh, another few woods. Ow. I better stay outside uh, just to get a lot of wood going and quite some food. There is gonna be a lot of exploring because I need to get uh, one of the achievements is to get every to visit every biome. So yeah, it this series it might take some time or it might end quickly. So let's actually create. Oh wait, I'm going going to f first mine some stone to get some better stuff. I don't really like to pick up diorite of granite when I'm doing hardcore because I don't have any use for it uh, else than using it to build myself a way over obstacles there we go I actually played uh, quite a lot of hardcore uh, Minecraft and I got I got better in it but it's, it's actually the first time I think I do it with a 1.10, a 1.9 uh, combat. So this is actually pretty new for me. I have the. I'm more used to spam click, but this might be actually challenging, just because it's new. I'm gonna pick this up again. And let's try to get some food, so we don't, don't we? There we go, some sheep. There we go. Oh, extra seeds. We're getting quite a lot of food. Nice. I like it. And I really like one-shotting those guys. What's the damage? 9. 9 attack damage. I've heard rumors about uh, that it's a bug. It's it's actually pretty funny that a normal axe deals uh, a lot more damage than a diamond sword. So might be I might be using uh, axes more than uh, than swords just uh, just because of the damage. Unless we get a uh, sharpness, one, sharpness uh, diamond sword, of course. Then I'm going to replace the axes. That, this is the only only reason I, I use diorite or on other building blocks. Just to... Where's diorite there? Just to get the high ground. To collect the other stuff. There we go. I'm actually gonna try to stay near the other caves. I don't be I don't need to be afraid of running because uh, just because of the food we have already. We are, we already have quite a bit of food, so we're actually good on that. When night falls, I'm going to head inside the cave. And then I'm gonna set my timer of my uh, my phone to 10 minutes because I'm probably whoops misplaced this one. Uh, I'm probably not gonna go out of the cave uh, within those 10 minutes. Really? I need to look up. There we go. There we 
we go. We should have a decent amount of uh, wood. Yep, almost a stack. Going to take some different. Fr I need to get some apples. That's for sure. And the sad thing is, I can't make crooks uh, in this game, in this uh, in vanilla Minecraft, which should actually be handy because it has an increased drop rate of uh, apples and saplings. But, uh, it's actually pretty, pretty challenging if you can get the, the apples or the saplings uh, that much. We're just, just gonna punch the leaves. Punch them real good. Oh yeah, and I wanted to thank you get all, all of you that are watching my Battle Pirate videos. It seems that uh, that you guys really like them. Uh, no matter if I'm comment commenting if I'm putting commentary in it. Uh, it's it's more like just a showcase video. Uh, the Battle Pirates. It's a fun game, only the problem is that it's getting hard because uh, the makers the makers of the game are messing up real bad as, uh, lately. It's pretty sad actually, it's a nice and beautiful game, the mechanics are really awesome. I really like the ship designs, uh, the way of wor of it working, the battle mechanic and etc. They have awesome ideas but they need to get off their lazy asses, give their testers more time and just fix the whole thing. Just because there are quite a bit of bugs, uh, they are more looking at people uh, who are paying a crap ton for the game and not really looking at the people who can't pay the, pay the game to play properly. Now I sound really uh, negative on the game but it's actually a pretty fun game if you play it quite a lot like I did. Uh, yeah. My mom also plays it, she's also getting really tired about the fact that you have to go in uh, to keep up with the rest. Now the good news was, the last raid, uh, which the videos had, had quite a lot of views, did was, uh, was pretty easy actually. I did, uh, did the highest, highest level target for the least amount of repair, so that was actually pretty awesome. I got over one, 100 million uh, points, so it was enough to get myself the the three top top prizes: uh, the Alpha Behemoth, uh, the Polonium Thrower, and uh, another Polonium Special to increase its range. And I thought I could curse the reload. Need to look it up again, but. Just, I'm just telling it for the guys that are interested in the game. Uh, it's actually pretty fun. I didn't build it yet, but there's so much I need to build. Just, uh, oh crap. Just earlier today, I uh, I coined my, my uh, what's it called? I coined my Punisher. Uh, so I could it could have it pretty early, five days earlier. Uh, I really needed it because the uh, today at nine a.m. Uh, nine a.m. the VXP weekend started. That means that uh, there are targets uh, launched on the world map. That drops more experience than uh, the normal cargos, so it's pretty g uh, awesome. To who? Okay, I'm in a very very bad situation. I need to reach the cave. You know, I'm gonna take myself a cave. Yep, I'm out of here. The 
rules, no dig straight down. I'm gonna mess up that rule. There we go. Uh, okay, give me a second, guys. I'm gonna get my timer ready. I'm gonna put it on. Wait, where's my timer? There we go, timer. I'm gonna put it on 8 minutes. Not, not, 95. Not 59, 8 minutes, there we go, there we go, okay, timer set, let's go, so uh, what I was telling us, uh, I like you guys, or the most of you, uh, saw me doing the raid with only the two punishers, uh, it was actually pretty tricky because I needed to work on the edge of the range, I didn't have much free space because one simple slip and I was dead. I got almost two shots. So yeah, and the fun fact is, I only use one tank. Uh, a tank for the ones that doesn't play uh, battle pirates. A tank is is a ship uh, loaded with mostly uh, countermeasure for missiles and uh, mortars. And I used one attack vessel uh, loaded with millennium gun, one phalanx anti-missile, and one uh, hailstorm anti-mortar C, no B, just to get uh, just to uh, play safe with the weight of the ship. And yeah, that's all. that's the only thing I, I used. I got quite far, now I got the second attack vessels, just need to get it uh, Skult. Skult is the highest rank possible in the game. Uh, it gives the ship uh, a plus 75% of uh, reload and turn speed, so it's actually pretty handy. So I'm looking forward to the next raid, next raid will have uh, the elite target which I made a video of today. Uh, the 101 target in the VXP is actually a preview to the Elite. So be sure to check it out if you guys want, if you guys are interested. I, I did it with Tideseeker, with my Punishers, and one for fun with my Icebreakers. My Icebreakers weren't fully built, so they actually died pretty quick. But to get back to Minecraft for a second, uh, I'm at level 50, okay. I want to get to diamond level. So let's actually try that, gonna, gonna, gonna close this menu, there we go. <coughs> As you guys can see, instead of, I'm kinda breaking the rule of digging straight down. But I'm actually in no danger because I'm digging uh, too wide, two blocks wide. So I'm in no danger of falling uh, into a pit because I will see it coming. There we go. So let's get actually much deeper. I have a long way to go. I was I was on top of a mountain, so I. I guess around, I was around 100 blocks in the air. Yeah, I need to get to at least level 12 from, to find diamonds. I really want to get diamonds pretty fast. I'm not gonna be build a nice base. I'm just gonna build a fast base because I'm gonna do a lot of traveling uh, just because of the one of the achievements. I need to visit every biome that is, that's in the game. That might take a freaking long time to do. There we go, extra iron. I hope I can... F I hope I reach the, the necessary level soon. So I can actually start gearing up. Because Instead, I am now. I only have a decent weapon, 
but the enemies hit like trucks. They just hit like trucks. Gonna take as much coal as I can, so I don't need to burn up my uh, my pickaxe. I just no, I'm gonna burn up my pickaxe. Just uh, to have some extra time on my coal. There you go. Quite a lot of coal. Past when I got fortune, I even used it on coal just to get a decent. Whoa, a stack of coal, nice. Just to get a stock of uh, a stock of coal for later. But I soon realized that using it on coal, it was pretty messy. I got quite a lot, quite a lot of coal, just like uh, using it on lapis. Now I'm going to use it on lapis. Oh, I'm actually deep enough. Okay, okay, okay. There we go. Ah, uh, level 10. Deep enough. I am going to make myself a little chamber here soon. Found some redstone. Sweet. Not really sure what I'm going to do with redstone, but I'll take it. The flint I can use to get some. Uh, the gravel I can use to get some flint. You know, I'm going to use my wooden pickaxe for now. Just to make it even wider. It's not really that nice, but who cares? I can put my crafting table here. Can craft myself a furnace. Can put it here. Place this in and place the iron in. And I can get myself an iron pickaxe. Sweet. <coughs> put the coal in. I'm gonna craft myself. Two chests. That's one. That's two. I'm gonna make an extra crafting table. There we go. Three iron, that means I can get an upgrade. Wait a second. I need, I need to craft myself another stone pickaxe. Getting an upgrade. There we go. Gonna put the meat in. Now I'm going to make an iron pick. And we're going to check the achievements for a second. Time to strike. Overpowered. Okay, there goes my alarm. Eight minutes have passed. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna check this out. Hot topic. Okay, acquire hardware. So I need to make a second furnace. I'm actually gonna do that to, to smelt, uh, to cook even more food. Uh, time to strike, Monster Hunter, it's actually quite easy, time to farm, yep, this is gonna be quite an easy task to get real far, this is gonna be the trickiest, I need to do it with the zombies, so, so yeah, I'll be back in a second.